Hey, so today's maintenance day in the garden and I just noticed aphids on my chrysanthemums. So I grabbed my dead bug brew. This is for, um, this is for aphids. Let's see, kills bagworms, boars, beetles, caterpillars. Oh, I should have just went with this in the first place. I noticed caterpillars on my um, zinnias. So I had gotten BT, which is supposed to kill larva. Like, didn't even read my dead bug brew before I got started. But I'm gonna show you the aphids on my chrysanthemums and I am going to dust this on them. You can see the aphids on there. There we go, it's focused in. So got a good deal of them on this plant. They have spread to a couple of my other chrysanthemums. You can see this guy just walking around. The good thing is they haven't done a lot of damage yet and they have not spread to all of my chrysanthemums yet. So I am going to do some preventative coating with the dead bug brew on the rest of my chrysanthemums. Oh no. Look at this tiny plant covered in them. Not cool, not cool, not cool. I don't like it. So I was doing relatively good with trying to do every three days, do either a fungicide, a um, fertilize and a bug. So it was like every three days do something different. Well, that's been really hard to maintain. And so pretty much I've been sticking with once a week I fertilize and that's been like the past three weeks and that's why this has happened. So it, it got, it got behind, it got behind. And you know what? There's a lot of work to be done out here and I'm only one person, so I'm doing what I can. Uh, so now I'm going to use what I have to fight off this infestation of aphids and hope that they don't spread everywhere. <laughs> So now this looks like a snowy disaster, but uh, hopefully I dusted them well enough that the aphids will start to die. And I will come back here and check these in about two days, see how they're doing. And I do have some dead bug brew. Oh, I missed a spot. I do have dead bug brew in a liquid form that I can spray. It's just right now my bug sprayer is filled with BT. So I'm gonna spread that where I have young plants. Uh, I'll spread that where I have young plants and then uh, just get it empty so that I can fill this with dead bug brew and in two days come back through here and spray them again because with aphids you really wanna stay on it and be consistent and get rid of them quick before they spread everywhere. And I was putting, I mean, I'm not, I haven't really even been slacking that much. I think it's been a week since I sprayed, but I might not have sprayed the chrysanthemums. So I have so much to spray and I think I focused mostly. Oh, you know what it was? The last time I sprayed for bugs, it was neem oil. I was trying to spray for squash bugs. I sprayed all my cucumbers, all my cucumbers and all my squash with neem oil. So... 
with all the different types of bugs out there, you have to have the right thing. So I just didn't, I didn't spray for, uh, I didn't spray the neem oil even on the chrysanthemums because I think the neem oil would have helped, uh, but I must have just missed them. So, you know, it happens. I think there was a hummingbird. Did you hear that? That was really loud. All right, let me get back to work.